kwenye studio tuko na dada mmoja uh-huh. ambaye pale kwenye Twitter ana umaarufu mkubwa. Nasema niende kusema pale Twitter. Kwa sababu ya mapenzi yake ya digital media. Na of course yeye mwenyewe pia ni influencer. Jana tumeshuka mambo. Salama sana. Karibu, karibu sana, karibu sana, sana kwenye studio. studio. Asante. Kiswahili kidogo. Kwa ni tutajaribu. Unatokea wapi Janet? Ah, uh, ni Kenya tu. Si mm. lakini si uko coast. Ehe. Uh-huh. Oh, ah, si ndio yeah. chako. Kwa nini unasemaje? Sisi wa Costa Rica ndio. Ah, hapana <laughs> sivyo. Uh, I think ni kwa sababu most of the time tuna, tumezoea tunafunza mm. kwa Kiingereza sana sana ukiongea kuhusu digital marketing. Mm. Sasa kidogo Kiswahili kinakosa. Kinakupiga chenga. Kwa <laughs> mimi pia ni mwalimu. Ah. Unafunza pia. Eh kabisa. Ah. Hiyo digital media hiyo marketing hiyo ni nanafunza yeye. Ana yeye ni co-founder. Labda tueleze tu like a bit of uh, who you are. Wacha kuelewe. Uh I think most of the people don't know about this. Mm-hmm. I am a journalist. I did uh, media science in Moi University. Mm-hmm. But digital marketing is something that I thought I I actually felt in love with the first time I was at Standard Media mm-hmm. doing my internship in 2015. Mm-hmm. And then from there I got the urge to learn more about it. Mm-hmm. And that's how we ended up here. So what I've been doing for the past six years mm-hmm. is building brands through the digital spaces, be it corporates, personal brands, and also through that, mm-hmm. I got a chance to open a school called mm-hmm. the TC Digital Academy. Mm-hmm. I know most of the people know it through the chats we do on social media, that is on Twitter and mm-hmm. the Twitter spaces we have every Wednesday. But now we also do corporate training mm-hmm. where we we arrange workshops mm-hmm. and also for the public, especially when it comes to dealing with organizations that want people to learn about digital marketing, social mm. media marketing and branding on specific issues. So that is what we do and I know I'll share more as we go on. Uh, kitu gani ambacho ulisomea uli wanahabari? Uh-huh. Nini kilikuvutia sana kwenye mambo sasa ya digital marketing? Ah uh, kwanza ni kwa sababu kila siku tunasoma kitu tofauti. Mm. Every day you're finding out something new sana sana the trends. Mm. You know hiyo kwanza ni kitu kwangu mimi na feel lazima nijue nini kitatendeka leo. Mm. Kama jana si hivyo na leo mm. na kesho pia. Mm. So hiyo excitement ya kutaka kujua nini mm. kinachoendelea na kuangalia hata wewe unaweza cause trend fulani. Mm. So hicho ndicho kitu cha kwanza kilinifurahisha kuhusu uh, digital media mm. and then ukiangalia okay, katika biashara. Mm. Kuna biashara nyingi sana ambayo imechipuka mm. kutoka digital. Mm. Na watu wengi hawajajua bado kuhusu hizo biashara. Mm. Ninaweza kuwa mmoja wao kuwafunza na kuwaelekeza. Unajua Clemo, mimi nilimjua, hiyo sema anasema alikuja internship. Mimi nilikuwa tayari nafahamu kwenye Twitter. kwenye Twitter. Yaani Twitter tayari alikuwa na presence mm. even by the time uh, uh, ulikuwa unakuja kwenye internship hapa Standard Media. Nataka ni unieleze how you started mpaka uh-huh. uh, ukaja ukawa na you know a presence mm-hmm. on Twitter so that tukisema kama Janet Machuka mm-hmm wa Twitter mm-hmm. yani inakuwa tayari ni obvious na kujua mm-hmm. how are you able to create your presence na jina pale uh, okay i will have to correct you a bit mm-hmm. when i was doing my internship at standard mm-hmm. media i had no idea what was twitter <laughs> what it was rather bona no bona ndikuwa na kuona so the bona, first uh, i think the second time you met oh, me in 2017 oh, during the presidential debate that's the time i had already started to build up the audience oh, okay, on twitter okay uh-huh. so the first time i remember uh, the first day mm. i reported to my internship mm. they asked me to create an account with with a twitter and then i was like okay what's this thing but i did create because i was supposed to be given the opportunity to access tweet deck so that i can uh, also be scheduling content kwa sababu ulikuwa umekuja kama internet or digital aha okay and then kutoka hapo mm. uh after nimemaliza look, facebook hapo nilikuwa najulikana kiasi mm. na kutoka shule watu wa village pia wameona nimefanya ni kazi kiasi kwa faini ni hapo kwenye facebook kwani uh Unajua kwanza Facebook na feel ni ile place yenye naweza kukutana na marafiki wangu wenye nimesoma nao shule mm. wana kijiji wenzangu na unajua venye Facebook ina, yeah. inaleta wale wana kijiji pamoja, pamoja yeah. and then uh, ku, kujulikana kutoka huko sasa Twitter siwezi sema nilikuwa najua ni nini nitafanya mm. huko kuna kijana mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Machuka 
hiyo mm-hmm. siku alikuwa na trend and mm. then apigiwa simu na mbona mbona una trend twitter niko like twitter ni wapi oh <laughs> <laughs> alafu ku trend ni nini ah ndio hiyo siku nilienda sasa ku join nikaona oh kumbe nilikuwa na account already mm. alafu sasa nikaanza nikakuwa nika na hiyo ari ya okay. kutaka kujua watu wana trend aje mm. watu wanapataje pesa kutokana na social media sana sana ukiongea kuhusu influencers mm. uh, nakumbuka hapo nyumae nilikuwa na create uh, Uh, blogs mm. mtu anakuambia unajua huyo mwandishi u create mm. blog yako utaanza kupata pesa matangazo si kupata pesa hata kidogo ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, hiyo ndio ilikuwa inanifanya nianze kujua sasa watu wa Nigeria influencers wanapatangaje pesa mm. alafu nikaanza na masomo kutoka eh, ya kidigitali katika mm. courses kuna nyingine inaitwa show academy mm. hapo ndipo waliweza kuni introduce to the world it, of digital marketing from it, the points of branding is it online yeah it's online mm. and then i learned about how do you package yourself what do you talk about mm. what is niching that's the first time i heard about niching i was mm. like this sounds like it's greek you mm. know but i came to realize it's just you having to package your passion in a way you feel like i'm comfortable in this space mm. i i want to talk to people mm. for long and i want to build an audience through that okay. and that is when later on i, I discovered communities actually I, i think i was among the few people who discovered communities uh before others mm. you know i feel covid-19 has now tried to make every social media package themselves from a point of communities mm. but from mars we had already discovered the the use so na maana gani um the watu you in eh wazetu ni sasa kama tuko na tujui community ah communities katika social media kuna watu wanaweza sema social media peke yake ni community but hii ni community mzima sana ni kubwa lakini ukifocus kwa niche communities hapa ni pale watu ambao kama nyinyi digital marketers ama nyinyi mnataka ku deal na conversations kuhusu uh realistic mm. ama kuhusu pesa mm. mna mnajipanga mnasema tutakuwa na conversation almost every week okay. at, at a particular time mm. and then invite more people to come to this space mm. invite speakers who understand what we're going to talk about or what, what they can teach people okay. from there you build a community of people who are there to learn mm. to connect to engage and build themselves and their businesses okay. so that's what we call a community at the moment uko kwenye community klemo ndataka ningize takungisha yangu eh jamani sio kama ati ndo kumuliza yeye ah yetu ni ATC inaitwa Africa Twitch Chat Community na hii community ni ya conversation nipo tayari mwenyewe usikatize ndoto zangu usikatize ndoto zangu tafadhali nipo tayari mimi nawako kufika kwenye community ndio umefika na ninaka ni kama nataka kunyima ndoto yako all right let's go to Janet Machuka she is very passionate kama unavyomsikia akiongea hasa kuhusiana na masuala digitali pale kwenye Twitter. Unajua Twitter Clemo uh-huh. tutakubaliana na wengi yep. kwamba um, especially young people walio pale ni wale tu wa kuleta banta. Yeah. Kukuninio watu, kubuli watu, kusema tu vitu ama wengine hata sikubuli. Mamins, mamins, nini? Ana kusukumaa ajenda. But uh, Janet ametengeza ile kwamba inamtengezea kipato. Actually juzi I don't know who maybe unaweza nikumbusha jina lake kuna kijana ambaye aliandika alikuwa na, anauliza watu why is it influencers wa Instagram na Facebook ndi wanalipwa wa, corporates wanawatafutaga sana mm-hmm. na si kwa Twitter. Mm-hmm. Somebody asked that. Kwa sababu Twitter unakuta mtu ana followers kibao mm-hmm. lakini hana wale ni clients mm-hmm. wafanya nao kazi. Mm-hmm. Na, tunaweza kuja tukajadili hilo when we come back sasa tuna, wewe title yako tunakuita apart from the co-founder of mm-hmm. SCT Digital Academy mm-hmm. hii ingine ni digital ma- digital Digi- a social media marketer mm-hmm. others will call me digital marketing expert in mm. terms of strategies mm. campaign uh, planning mm. and others will call me an influencer so i think the fact that i have interacted with different people on different topics mm. especially in the digital marketing mm. there are people who will choose to call me a particular name or rather a bio mm. because they associate or rather relate with me more with that. Jenny mm. tumetokea wapi haraka haraka? Ah uh, kisi. Ah. Umekulia <laughs> umekulia. <laughs> umekulia kisi. Waja. Umekulia kisi. Wakire. Eh voirire wakire. Same gani pale kisi? Ah keroka. Karibu na keroka. Ah okay. na nyagoka. Nyagoka kwa hapo jamani. Mm. Mtano wao ndio yuko kwenye studio. Ah <laughs> msajibia ni mbona paka msaka jua hapo nyumbani. Ni nyumbani. Mm. Oh I didn't know you from Kisii. Siko nafahamu hiyo. So umekulia pale pale? Mm. Ah kama pale um, ni ocha tu. Primary high school. Mm. Ah no primary peke yake. Alafu mm. high school ndio nilivuka. 
Mm. Ukaingia mjini sasa ama ukaingia uh, wapi? Na Kuru Girls sasa hapo ni mjini na hapo ni mjini sasa <laughs> na Kuru Girls. <laughs> Kuru and then tukaingia tuka university mm. alafu tukakuja Nairobi ku hustle. Mm. Wakati hapo <laughs> you were growing up ndio mm-hmm. uje upasi communication ulikuwa unajiona ukiwa nini uki, uki mkubwa? Uh, personally at first I used to think I wanted to become uh, a teacher. Hey. And the reason why I'm saying that is because in the village you know atuko exposed sana. Mm. The only people you see are teachers, drivers and all that. And mm. in my village ni nililelewa huko ndani. Wana wa ndani? Yes. Ah, Unapoka kijini mjini. Ati Nairobi Uh-huh. <laughs> and then uh nikaingia high school i think high school that is the first time i came to in, be introduced to being like doctors we were just learning them in Why? in the books so that is the time i started to understand mm-hmm. when you talk about a doctor who is a doctor who is an accountant and most of the time unkona pata i have cousins i have uh, brothers in law they will tell me you mm-hmm. can fit very well in this accountant space yeah. because you're very good in maths and others will be like you make good decisions when it comes to uh managing some things you mm. can make a very good lawyer mm. you know everybody started to call me different names i was like okay so who am i it I was very that. hard mm. to identify what i really wanted to do and i think that is when after i finished my fourth year mm. my form four not fourth year my mm. form four i remember in my in the in the choices of the courses that i wanted to do mm. journalism was nowhere Quali? like it was nowhere and that is the first time we were given a chance to change courses you remember in 2000 i think in 2013 there i, I, 2013. To, I to remember janet tulikuwa tu huko nje fanya hivi tulikuwa tumefika pale kwa wapi we had spoken about you kulo liko na schooli you know how you found yourself at standard where even in your till yanza so uh, have you ever been uh, employed kufanya hii kazi Mm, no uh-huh. but just as a freelancer Trans- but in 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 an office where i know mm. i have to wake up early in the morning and be out by four. <laughs> no. okay yeah so ah basi tuweze likwaje hiyo kuwa self employed so what twenty so umejijili mwenyewe ah kabisa what twenty wa kuna biashara pia mm what twenty wa kitoka shule chuo kazi ni kutafuta kazi kazi ni kutafuta kazi kwa kuweko ilikwaje especially after the internship mm i think Pierre Standard Media in particular exposure the mm. fact that uh, that is the first time being a first year doing the internship mm. and people are like whoa this girl there's mm. a star somewhere mm. <laughs> so mm. i used that opportunity to jua watu ku uh, do trainings in different schools when i'm being asked oh we want you to come mm. and talk to our people i'm like yeah i'm going mm. you know i wanted that exposure i wanted to meet people and also the social through the social media now i started discovering now that co- the communities at first unajua kuwa na communities in africa especially from uh, tweet chats or mm. uh, facebook let's say facebook group, groups zenye nikuwa najua mm. so i had to get myself involved in the others from the other con- continents that oh. is when i had to learn on how to connect with people talk to people how do you engage with them to a point that they can help you learn on something mm. or you get mentorship through them and so i decided uh, i think before then nataka ni juwe hii kujijenga mm-hmm. ulifanyaje so that wewe ulikuwa unaweza kuitwa shule unaweza kuitwa sehemu fulani like how were you able to build this this brand mm-hmm. ya Janet Machuka ah uh, hapo after ndio nilikuwa nataka kuja uh-huh. kwa sababu back in 2017 i was also doing the presidential debate uh, uh, in Kenya mm. and i think that is the time it really exposed me again to the media now like okay. i could do interviews and all that and then some people will tell me oh we want you to do this and i'm like i don't really know mm. but if you give me a chance to do research i wouldn't mind <laughs> <laughs> sharing about Allah. it you know <laughs> and then from there you know you know you are, you're meeting a totally different community and a group of people all the time mm-hmm. and then people you're living with them your name mm-hmm. you're living with them something you taught them you're living with them something you're also doing on social media so they follow you because they believe you can guide them to the right path mm-hmm. and then we also created now the ATC Digital Academy not ac- not the academy the, the community Africa Twitter chat and i think having to do the conversations every wednesday made brand trickle to the space because they're meeting experts they're meeting people who are asking the right questions and also they are getting the right answers from there you know you're growing as a knowledge center at the same time 
people are looking up to the leader who is this Janet Machuka wendo ulikuwa ume, ume, umeanzisha yes. hiyo inaitwa etc oh in full uh, africa twitch chat africa twitch yeah, chat it's a community that has been happening since 2018 february mm. at 9 pm et mm. na one thing i know at first it haikuwa na leta pesa mm. uh, cuz tulikuwa tunaangalia sisi tunataka create our time to talk to people and just create that community mm. because at first it was very hard for me to find the right niche now when you talk about niche communities mm. in africa so we decided why not become the first people to do that mm. and that is when people started to approach me from the point of you can influence for our brand our okay. product mm. and also the friends i had already made from social media who were influencers mm. they could add me to some of the gigs they used to do but again i didn't stop there as much as we have a conversation on wednesday mm. if i get a chance to go and talk to students in campuses or uh, in in corporate brands mm. i will go regardless mm. of the fact that they are paying me or not mm. that is why it started because okay. i wanted that exposure and i wanted to build a confidence that i can actually teach this i can show people this umeniambia kwamba if you can just i don't know if you were talking about this or not that tumeongea sana sije mm-hmm. tumeongea hewani ama <laughs> isipatukua hewani the like when there was amachuka alikuwa ana trend yes ukaingia mm-hmm. and then there was a day you were trolled i know mm-hmm. it's when you were coming <laughs> it, it's when you created the twitter account uh, that's mm-hmm. when you were being trolled tell me about that experience uh, it was not the same day though mm. uh, yes, you yes, know yes, yes, when it comes to social media the first thing you know when i went when i landed on this space mm. i had already seen the the, the the side of people talking about money and for me i'm like yeah i'm going for the money but before i get to the money i want to learn mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so sometimes i could go learn on on the schools that i was doing or some of the research i do online mm. and then share it on social media people mm. will be like so you are copy pasting everything from the internet and sharing as you oh. know uh, you think you know it all you just uh. came the other day some people will actually try to suppress your Inspir- aspirations mm. and sometimes some of the little motivation you have in yourself like i'm just gonna figure out what is this mm. and i think at the same time you know trolling they can't really pick like people trolled me mm. all as a bunch mm. you find there specific people who say some negative things while you're really trying to discover this space and i think impact gani uh for me i mm. can't really say it really brought in a lot of impact i'm mm. the kind of a person if you t- if you show me that you don't like me mm. i'll make you like me <laughs> i want to force it <laughs> but i'll give you the reasons from how good and kind i will be towards you kwa hivyo you in the strategy you'll to me pale jeta absolutely mm. so until today regardless of the fact that somebody can abuse or troll me i'm like oh thank you how have you been you know mm. i am the troll c- back uh, no i don't mm. yeah i think i'm the one person people know on twitter who has never trolled anyone if i trolled maybe it was just for fun. Nilikuwa namueleza Clemo hapa. You come out very like a no nonsense girl. Mm-hmm. Pale kwenye you know tweets zako. Azinaga. Mm. Wazake huko tukipiga wakipiga na mabomu, mabanta. Mm. Yeah, ko. Ako very serious na maisha. On point. Eh, <laughs> eh. Hey, hey. mm. point. Ako serious. Ai. Hey. Is this uh, something ulichagua? Mm-hmm. Ama even ndivyo ulivyo because mimi nakuona hapa huko na you know at first when you land in a space and then you don't find the right people who can guide you mm. sometimes you decide to become that person mm. if you want to change the way people behave or the way people have their conversations or the mm. way people view a particular a uh, space mm. you have to become that person to show them the way mm. and i think Ule, p- uli, so, sorry uli menembe, uli manager tell me about that story Uh it was through Twitter and I think this is when I had already been verified and then I was like oh what am I going to do with this twi- Twitter mm. verification badge and then uh this guy goes like hi I would like to be part of your 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 chats or your WhatsApp groups you know we used to do every evening we used to do one hour conversation before we started the spaces mm. the the chats and then and then he was like you have a very good um Mm. The way you command your audience, mm. the way you speak, the way you put your content, mm. you look like somebody who needs someone to strategize the point of how can you draw this to business. Okay. You know, at first I used to think managers are just there to work like PAs, mm. to do everything for you. Mm. <laughs> But this one was like, Mm-mm, I'm not doing anything for you. I want you to learn your st- for, to learn through the journey to know how to talk to people, mm. how to create relationships, how to create like a connection from a point of we know each other we are friends now 
there is a business here. Mm. Can I recommend you? Can I give you my business to manage? Mm. So for me, it was all about can you become that person? So having this brand, actually, he's, I work with him to date. His name is Barack Onyango. And maybe most of the people might be knowing him in on Twitter mm. because he is my co-founder of oh, the ATC okay. Digital Academy. Okay. So I didn't have that. I only mm. had the media aspect. Mm. But for the business aspect, he had to instill that in me. All right. Yeah. yeah. So we we spoke about uh trolls. Eh point. Why is it that uh, influencers wengi mm-hmm. ambao kuna huge following pale kwenye Twitter hawapati as much endorsements mm-hmm. kama wale wako kwenye Instagram mm-hmm. and uh, say Facebook. Mm-hmm. Wewe unazipataga? Tuambie mm-hmm. unafikiri nini ni watu hawafanyi mm-hmm. ambao wanastahili kufanya? Uh, kwanza kabisa unajua tuwezi assume mm. watu wa, uh, kama uko na followers wengi mm. it's a must you be endorsed by other brands and all that mm. maybe they are also working with these brands behind the scenes mm. you know it doesn't have to be your posting to be mm. seen you're working with a brand you might be this ah wale wale wa banta tu mama pale na memes wa kutubamba na bambisha na bambisha huku unajua kuna watu wako twitter kwa starehe na wakipata hiyo kazi ya kufanya influencing wanatafanya kama haiko wako na kazi yao ingine na watakuwa na starehe bado lakini mtu kama mimi naweza sema ah hii ni biashara yangu this is where i want to get my money from this is where i'm building my my empire from i have built my agency business from the from it now this audience i don't have to joke with them the way i approach the conversations the engagement the relationships i create with them has to be very strategic and that is why up to date some people tell me Uh, why are you wasting every Wednesday one hour two hours having a conversation with people you mm. never get tired it's four years six months later mm. we are doing it there is something that I'm gaining from it you might not see it mm. but I see it because mm. I'm the one who consumes it <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you know <laughs> mm. yeah kitu gani ambacho huwa kina ama tunasema changamoto za being in the digital space kwa sababu sio kila mtu anakujua wewe sura yako tunaanga tu kapicha kako hapo you know tell me baadhi ya changamoto na some of the wins umepata kwa kupitia twitter and the other social media platforms are you on other platforms yeah i'm on instagram on facebook on linkedin uko uko you have a presence there as well I'm mostly in Twitter. Uh mostly it's Twitter and okay. Instagram. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going. Uh kwa changamoto, I could say one sometimes you might strategize how to deal with the conversations, mm. but because of the trends, kidogo zinaleta shida. Mushkao. Eh sasa hapo ndio nasema changamoto ni kufikiria kitu ambacho utafanya kitakusaidia mm. lakini kikose kukusaidia mm-hmm. ama mambo ya badiliki kidogo kidogo corona ndio hiyo ama na vitu zingine pia uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, sasa hapo ndipo nasema uh, ni vizuri ku the way i usually solve those is i find different people especially when i talked about the community in a community there are these people who have ideas that you don't have And that is why having conversations is a great way to find the solutions from these people. Mm. They're willing to help, trust me. If you ask them, they will help you. Okay. So that is how we usually resolves our challenges. Mm. And then another challenge I think it's some days you can post and the engagements ziko chini. Ile liko unasema two likes. <laughs> two likes pale basi. Mm. Yeah. Mabarikiwa na tatu. Three comments. Ani unasema sometimes mm. una post like e video, e photo inaenda viral. Uh. <laughs> viral ni two likes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. what happens I think is you always have to uh, look at your audience. What are your analytics? Mm. Angalia huko nyuma how are the insights, you know? Mm. What are people liking from your page? Mm. Look at the surrounding, look at the mood. Mm. Look at the the environment, the ecosystem you live in and also the t- digital space. What is happening that everybody else is talking about? So, so also involve yourself in such conversations. Mm. Maybe you can pull more people into that. And then something else I think most of the people think it's all about creating content from your end mm. but not looking at it how can I also consume other people's content to your timeline mm. or comment in their in in their pages too. Is uh, Oh, I'm sorry to use this. <laughs> sorry for that. I'm sorry to to use this example. Uh I sometimes on Instagram mm. when we say uh, go 
comment on other people's pages mm. especially uh the likes of you Mwende Mashare when mm. i post something and you want to comment on my page i don't expect you to send me emojis all the time mm. <laughs> at least tell me something <laughs> Mm. Yeah, you know, tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um. as much as you have shown your presence there, mm. people might be like, oh, okay, you are mecheka too. Like, try to say your mind. Try to say some of the ideas because mm. that is what people follow. On, for example, Twitter is known as for a, a very good conversation yes, space. Absolutely. Use it to make conversations, not with only you people on your post, but on their posts. Can mm. you share an opinion? People will be like, huh? How Ana ch- vizuri sana. Uh, Let me go and check out what she does. What? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> 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 Do you want to say something? But I hear you totally. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Na katika mm. uh, achievement, mm. nezesema kwanza ni ile uh, opportunity ya work with different brands mm. not only in Kenya not only in Africa mm. but across the gro- the globe the globe <laughs> yeah uh-huh. I, and i think that is one thing that usually excites me when i see money in dollars you're like yeah, yeah. <laughs> now <laughs> just chilling <laughs> which corporates have, have you worked at in which continents uh, i've worked with uh, um it's called autonomous from the us mm. i've worked with uh, oh, apart from africa right you mm. ask apart mm. from mm. Mm. i've worked with uh, um, uh, that is amsterdam is in netherlands yeah mm-hmm. so brands in Netherlands, some mm. in the UK, mm. uh, that is uh, Oxfam International. Mm. Oh, and nice. At the moment, I'm working with uh, a one from the UK mm. as um, an editorial strategist for their content. Really? Yeah. So is that a publication? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Okay. Sawa mwalimu sawa. Sasa watu wakikuja kwa academy wanakuja aje? Wakuja wafundishwe maneno hii wote tunatuambia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kwanza lazima ukuje upitie Twitter uko mm-hmm. kwa Janet Machuka. Mm-hmm. Alafu kutoka hapo uh, utapata uh, utaenda Africa t-shirt iko kwa bio yangu. Ni alafu, online. Yeah, ni online. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, alafu uta uta click up kwa ATC Digital Academy mm-hmm. and then you'll check it out. We haven't launched yet. We're mm-hmm. looking forward to launching it. Mm-hmm. But at the moment you can join our community conversations because from there you'll never miss any um any uh, announcements we we make towards the launching of the school. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the best of all. Me tell you about sponsorship. But we pick up free way. Madam woman pick up free. Me online no mesikia lakini. Kwa kwa free. I like what work of breast and I've created that one on one. Ni online. Ni online. Madam to connect up. You just follow her yeah. and then follow pale kwenye Twitter ni Janet Janet Machuka. Ivo I'm the only Janet Machuka. All right. Sasa. Sasa tunashukuru sana kwa kuja. Asante. Yes, and uh, we wish you very well in your endeavors.